If you're an independent insurance adjuster like me, then you've probably heard about the State Farm Certification. I'm not personally sure how anyone ever hears about the State Farm Certification because there's no Facebook ads, there's no Instagram ads. I never see it being spoken about on TikTok yet. Once you become an independent adjuster, everybody flocks to the State Farm Certification. If I had to guess, it's because the people who are new adjusters work with the larger companies and the larger companies are large because they work with State Farm. Being that State Farm is the largest property insurer in the United States, these large companies will quickly ask their new independent adjusters to get State Farm certified so that they can then look more attractive to State Farm, get more work for them, and ultimately make more money. Well, as the owner and CEO of a very successful independent adjuster training company, here are four reasons why you should never work for State Farm. Number one, State Farm does not allow you to work for anyone else while you're working with them. So what that means is if you signed up to be an independent adjuster so that you can write your own schedule, be your own boss, and all these great things, once you start working for State Farm, you no longer have any independence. You are completely codependent on State farm. You can't work for another insurance company. You can't work for another independent adjusting company. You work for one. Reason number two is that State Farm does everything very, very different compared to the other insurance companies throughout the country. You see, the State Farm certification is there because they do things so differently. They created this certification process so that they know that no matter what you were doing before you were working for State Farm, you now know how State Farm likes everything to be done. But since it's basically all new adjusters that ever work for State Farm, people don't know how other claims are handled. So they're just learning the State Farm way. The problem with that is that if someone gets smart enough to leave State Farm, they don't actually know how claims are handled, you know, in like the real world. So you're basically starting from scratch. The third reason is that most State Farm positions are W-2 and not 1099. Because you're W-2 and not 1099, it's much harder for you to enjoy many of the tax benefits that come along with you being your own business, which ultimately means that you pay more in taxes. The fourth and final reason why State Farm sucks to work with is because of their dreaded DNR list. What does DNR stand for? DNR stands for do not rehire. State Farm adjusters know exactly what I'm talking about. To be put on the DNR list means that you will no longer work State Farm claims whatsoever. It's another word for saying you're fired. If you don't go out on assignment with State Farm, you can end up on the DNR list. If you don't show up to work, Work, you could be on the DNR list. If your manager doesn't like you very much, you can be on the DNR list. State Farm will make sure that you know all about the DNR list because they want you to stay put and only work for them. If you became an independent adjuster because you wanted to run your own business, you wanted independence, you wanted to get out of the nine to five rat race, you wanted independence, professional independence, why would you work for a company that doesn't allow you to have any other clients? Why would you work for a company that prevents you from gaining the knowledge about working with other clients? Why would you work for a company that's not gonna pay you as if you were your own business, but instead an employee? And why would you work for a company that's gonna threaten to fire you? The worst part about this is that even after I publish this video, new adjusters will still flock to the State Farm certification because they simply just don't know any better. If they're lucky, they'll find work, have a little bit of success, but have a very skewed perception of what this industry is all about. And unfortunately, the adjusters that try to work for State Farm then don't get any work from State Farm end up thinking that there's no work throughout this entire industry when that could not be any further from the truth. The reality is that State Farm is not the only insurer out there. There are literally thousands of other insurers throughout the whole nation that are looking for qualified help. And just remember, Remember, that State Farm certification is only valuable to State Farm. It will not get you work for anybody else. If this video provided you with any value, hit the subscribe button.